During her visit she will stay at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh, her official royal residence. This weekend saw the publication of a disastrous poll for Nicola Sturgeon, which found a majority of Scots want to remain part of the UK. The panel-based survey, for the Sunday Times, concluded 52% of Scots back the union once don't knows are excluded. This is the lowest support for independence has been in a panel-based poll since 2019. In further good news for unionists just 22% of Scots think the country will leave the UK in the next five years, a fall of 8%. Only 35% of Scots want another referendum in the next two to five years, with 46% against holding one over the next year. Details of the Queen's Scotland visit were posted on the official Royal Family Twitter account. It said, tomorrow, the Queen will arrive in Scotland for Royal Week 2021. Royal Week, or Holyrood Week, takes place each summer as the Queen and members of the Royal Family undertake visits across Scotland celebrating Scottish culture, achievement and communities. The Queen will take up residence at the Palace of Holyrood House this week. Her Majesty is connected to Scotland by ancestry and deeply held affection. As well as spending family summers at Balmoral Castle, the Queen has visited almost every area of Scotland from the Outer Hebrides to Dumfries, meeting Scots from all walks of life. On Monday the Queen will be joined by Prince William, who is known as the Earl of Strathern in Scotland. On Wednesday and Thursday she will be accompanied by her daughter, Princess Anne. Both William and Harry will be in London on Thursday to unveil a statue of their mother, Princess Diana, at Kensington Palace. The Queen usually hosts a royal garden party during Royal Week, her annual summer visit to Scotland. However due to the coronavirus pandemic the event will not go ahead this year. The SNP fell one short of a majority during May's Scottish Parliament elections. However she is continuing to demand a second referendum on taking Scotland out of the UK. In 2014 Scotland voted to remain part of Britain by 55% of the vote to 45%. Boris Johnson has argued now isn't the time for another vote, and instead the SNP should focus on Scotland's coronavirus recovery. Some SNP figures have suggested another referendum could be held even without UK Parliament approval. However if this happens Douglas Ross, Scottish Conservative leader, is urging unionists to boycott the poll. If Scotland leaves the UK, and rejoins the EU, it would result in a hard border with England.